Lord speaks of peace to his people and his holy ones, and to those who turn to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that, striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heaven in a heavy chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil, or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed, so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones, those who sat on them, that those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, and who had not worshipped the beast or its image, nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next I saw a large white throne and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his, from his presence, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great and the lowly, standing before the throne, and scrolls were opened. Then another scroll was opened, the Book of Life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead, then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The Word of the Lord. Here God lives among his people. Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among his people. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here God lives among his people. 
Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are, they go from strength to strength. Here God lives among his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Times. It's really what people need right now. And 
even on that, I'm not totally down on that. I, you know, I grew up on things like comfort food and feel good movies and all that stuff. I love that. That, can be, that actually can be really nice right now. As long as it doesn't become a, a tool of self-medication. Because that is something he, a lot of people are kind of thinking they need right now. And that is not what we need when it gets us, when it truly distracts us from the important work of bearing good fruit. If you want to get, if we all want to get through this next round of COVID restrictions and frustration and everything, the comfort food and the, and the feel good movies and everything, there's a place for that. And I'm sure I'll enjoy that, some of that. But the key thing, um, if we want to, to self-medicate, so to speak, do it with our Lord by bearing good fruit. And that means making sure that we are giving glory to God in how we spend our days, whatever that ends up looking like for our particular situation. So that's our prayer life, that's how we're treating the people around us, in general, how we spend our time. If we're going to self-medicate, let's self-medicate by bearing good fruit. If we do that, then we are going to head into the Advent season with right mentality, and we are going to navigate this next round of COVID restrictions in the most spiritually fruitful way we can, and we will ultimately be ready for Christmas when it comes at the end of Advent. So today on this Black Friday, let's really make sure that however we're spending our time, let's make sure we're not um, self-medicating with worldly distractions, but instead, instead focusing on bearing good fruit, because Christ is coming, and we want to be ready for Him as members of His body, and enjoying His eternal happiness in heaven when that end of the world ultimately comes. We want that to be a happy day for us. Father, trusting in your divine providence, we now bring forward our petitions. For all of us as Christians, that we strive to bear good fruit, especially in the difficult days ahead, we pray to the Lord. For our elected officials, that as they weigh different COVID restrictions, they enact policies that are truly helpful for the common good and to keep people safe, but are not needlessly burdensome on society, especially for practice of religion. We pray to the Lord. For all of our Catholic schools, that they are able to function and serve our children as well as possible, we pray to the Lord. For Father Dismas and all others in our Archdiocese who are sick with COVID-19, that they have a speedy recovery, we pray to the Lord. For Miriam Watanabe, for whom this, or I'm sorry, for Christine Tiverota, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we entrust these prayers to your loving care through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commandments, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Andrew our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul and Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every at respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship in your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Let us pray. Before that. Before that, let's make sure we do our prayer of spiritual communion for all of you at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to separate from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.